Hi there, everyone. It's Misty here from the Joy of It Elf. Happy Friday. Welcome to a card video. Oh my word. Oh my gee. We are definitely making a card today. Um, it's a really cute card too. <laughs> but I want to address a few things first. Number one, in my video on Wednesday, I mentioned that I thought that Cassie Trask had mentioned my comment that I left on her video to he who should not be named and that brought him to my channel and I was told that that is actually not the case and I made that assumption based on what was going on in the chat box during the live and what they were conversation back and forth um, even with me in there. So that was not not the case. And so I reached out to Cassie yesterday privately through her Instagram and I apologized. And I made sure to let her know she did not have to accept it, but she graciously did and I really appreciate it. So if you are someone who was subscribed to her and you, you stopped because of me, I just, I encourage you to go back. Um, I encourage you to go give her love and go give her support. Um, this is totally on me absolutely 100% on me. I made an assumption. Like I said, I was reading the chat and listening to him and them going back and forth. And it just made me think that she was involved, but she says she isn't. And I, I believe her. So I'm going to link her channel down below. If you um, have never heard of her, she's extremely talented. She does a lot of stuff. She does a lot of kit cards. Um, she did five cards using that kit and they turned out really, really cute. So make sure you go and check her out. Um, I just, I feel awful that I dragged her into a situation, um, even though from what they were talking about in chat and I made that assumption, but that wasn't, it wasn't fair and I take full responsibility for it. The next person I wanna talk about is Simon Hurley. So Simon was absolutely 100% not involved in any of the bullying that took place during that live stream. He had came in probably around the hour, hour and a half mark. And um, at that point, who should be not my name, was still making snide comments here or there and um, was bringing stuff back up. And Simon was just, you know, talking about, is it like we're doing in the beauty community? Is this, you know, is someone being canceled? And he, he had absolutely nothing to do with what was going on. So I just wanted to make that clear. The only reason why I brought his name into it is because he was like he was being addressed by name in that live stream. And I wanted you to go be able to watch it and know when I say Simon that you are hearing what exactly happened. Um, their li that live stream was finally taken down yesterday evening or afternoon after I was threatened with <laughs> attorneys. But as I mentioned that it could have been privated or it could have been said to unlisted, but it wasn't. But at the end of the day, I'm ready to move on. So yesterday, after talking to my husband <laughs> and after talking to Yvonne, who um, is a subscriber, I made the decision to um, private my videos. So the only one I didn't take down was that haul I posted on July the 1st. So I considered taking it down and re-uploading it, but I just, I just don't want to. I mean, it, it's gotten the views it's gonna get, it's already out there, and it literally shows just how excited I was for what I got. But, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to move on. So I privated the unboxing video, I privated Wednesday's video, and I edited and re-uploaded the Q&A. So the Q&A was reposted yesterday. It doesn't have any of the conversation I was having about he who should not be named, and it's back up for you guys. So again, I, I apologize to Cassie. Um, I apologize to Simon if this affected him in any way, because like I said, he wasn't even involved. I just brought his name up because he was like a placeholder. So, um, I, <laughs> I will never in my life be able to express the level of gratitude that I feel for you guys. I mean, I, I've been big, my, I mean, I, I started being bullied in the first grade. 
um, they called me Big Apple and then it went to rhinoceros and hippo and I've been called basically everything you can think of. But this is the first time I've really felt like I've been bullied by, you know, so, I don't know. Anyway, it's neither here nor there. I want to leave it in the past. I want, that's why I privated everything. Um, I ask that we don't, I'm not going to talk about it after this video. Um, I ask that you don't, you know, talk about it in your comments or anything like that. I just, I want to let it go. I want to let it go. I want to get back to being jolly. I'm not going to let anybody steal my sparkle. <laughs> We're still going to be glittery and sparkly over here. So I just want to make that clear that I'm ready to move on. But as I was saying, I, you guys, I have never felt so much support and love and just kindness in my whole entire life. And I will never ever be able to express just how much I feel for you guys. Um, I read every single comment. Um, I didn't respond because oh, it was rough. I was having a really rough time of things. But I read every single comment. I've read, you know, all your Facebook messages. I've read all your Instagram comments. I've read all your Facebook comments. I've read emails. I haven't been able to respond to everybody. Um, I just, I will never in a million years be able to express my gratitude. And the one thing that I appreciate more than anything is that you guys still trust me. That you, you said that you trust my opinion and you trust me to do the right thing and you trust me to um, not bullshit you, what it comes down to. And that's why I wanna make sure that I apologize to Cassie and Simon, because I want you to continue trusting me and know that if I mess up, I mean, we're all human, we're gonna do it, I'm gonna make it right. So with that being said, today's card is a thank you card. I wish I could send every single person um, who has subscribed to me a thank you card, but I wanted to do one that's kind of virtual and I'm using the cutest set. I don't know if you guys remember the haul where I picked up the robot. Oh my gosh. So anyway, so I did have a little mistake because it wouldn't be a misty video if I didn't mess up somehow. I'm, I have a new filming setup. So, and I mentioned, I think I mentioned this in the video. I don't remember. Um, I used to have a huge tripod with an arm. On the, the tripod was on the floor and the arm came over and that's how I would film so I could film overhead but the way we're redoing my craft room is I purchased ceiling mount I'm pounding over here like you can see it but I purchased ceiling mounted tripods and I've mounted them to my wall and the camera doesn't come out quite as far as it used to. So when I was filming that video yesterday and coloring, you couldn't see half of it. <laughs> I mean, that's honestly, oops, that's honestly not a new thing for me, but I was just so aggravated and I wanted you to see it because I thought it turned out really cute. So there is, when I get to the coloring, you're gonna see me color, but it's not what ends up on the end of the card. So yeah, so again, you know, I, I'm so sorry to Cassie and I'm so sorry to Simon. Um, if it brought any kind of hate your way, that was never my intent. Um, and I, I, I'm ready to let this go. I'm ready to move on. So if that means you have to unsubscribe from me, I completely understand. Um, I just, yeah, I'm just ready to go. So without further ado, let's head over to my craft table and let's make a card. So I thought for my project today that I would do a thank you card. Like I mentioned in my intro, I can never express the amount of gratitude that I feel <laughs> towards you guys for being so supportive. And like I said, the most important is knowing that I still have your trust and I appreciate that. So I'm using this cute little robot set from Sugar Peas. If you missed it, I shared this in my Simon Says stamp haul. So I'm gonna do the cute little robot um, holding the, um, the balloon, and I forgot I wanted to do the little bow as well. So I'm gonna be stamping using Memento Tuxedo Black because I do want to color with some Copics. So I am using my Stamparatus. This is my favorite stamp positioner, um, but any stamp positioner will do you. And I'm still working my way through my Stampin' Up cardstock, so this is um, oh, I needed a piece of, 
Uh, it'll be fine. This is Whisper White. We'll see how it works. <laughs> I may have to pick a different, a different cardstock. I wasn't even thinking. I think because initially I wasn't going to color it, I was going to just stamp on um, a, just stamp on the, do I want a bow? Yeah, the bow's so cute. Sit. <laughs> Sit and stay. So hopefully the lighting is okay. I'm telling you guys, I don't, is Mercury in retrograde? <laughs> this has been the strangest week for my electronics. This, my light, which is brand new, is not doing the right color. And then my camera, I mentioned in the video um, on Monday or yesterday now, since I re-uploaded it, that my, um, I was waiting for a plug to come in and it came in and it worked for about a good five minutes and then the camera stopped working. I mean, the thing stopped working. So I wasn't able, <laughs> so normally I just keep my camera plugged in. That way I can charge it. This says thanks a bot, by the way, <laughs> isn't that cute? And that way I can charge it as I'm, or I don't have to worry about charging it is what I'm trying to say. Not very well. Is that crooked? Maybe a little crooked. Oh, that's way crooked. <laughs> oh my word, that's way crooked. There we go. Hopefully that's right. So anyway, see, and now it died. What in? It's out to get me. All right, guys, so I'm editing in the coloring. Um, When I went to edit it, I realized that you couldn't see anything because I was like way down here. So hopefully I will stay in frame and we'll be good to go. So the bow is upside down, but this isn't going on a card. So I'm not re <laughs> I'm not restamping it because the card is already made. So for the bow, I am using RV04 and RV02. And I'm not doing a whole lot of shading on the bow. I mean, I guess it could be cute upside down. You guys will have to tell me. <laughs> and I apologize because as I sat down to film, my neighbor started mowing. So yeah, for the BG, for the balloon, I'm using BG um, 15, 13, and 11. And honestly, um, you'll hear, what, did I say this later? Yeah, I think I say this later in the video, but I honestly wish I'd done it backwards or the opposite way where I did the balloon pink and did the um, bow blue because the background that this is going on is also blue, but I think the finish card turns out cute. It's so weird to be talking like as if I'm from the future. I mean, as if I'm in the, I don't know. What am I trying to say? I don't know what I'm trying to say, actually. <laughs> I did mention that I have a mix of chows and sketch, and that's because, now the chows don't come in every color, but they are so much cheaper than the sketch markers. And there's really not a whole lot of difference. It's mainly the shape um, and the fact that, you know, the sketch come in more colors. So what I did when I went to purchase some more is I sat down and figured out which markers I could buy in Chow. And I bought those late here recently, probably in about a month or so. For the robot, I'm using C7, C4, and C2. And I get my Copic markers at scrapbookpal.com. You can also get them from Blick, Art Surprise. They normally run around the same price. Um, I like to get them from Scrapbook Pal because they're a smaller company. Um, and they also ship like next day. I mean, they ship really, really fast. So, yes. And I haven't had any issues with them. They, um, they even called me one time that I first order. And they were like, you ordered two of this one marker. 
And I was like, I'm so sorry, because it says before you check out, did you make sure your quantities are correct? <laughs> and I was like, dang it. I was like, I did my best. I'm so sorry. And she's like, no, it's fine. I think they're based in Utah. But yeah, they really, really nice. And great customer service. I can't ask for much more than that. And if you missed it, I posted it on Instagram and Facebook. And did I post it on my YouTube community tab? I honestly don't remember. But I finished my Copic case. I um, I glued together some boxes, some wood boxes from Darice that you can get at Michael's. I glued, um, I made a four by four grid. So there's 16 boxes and it will hold so I have my violets and my blue violets together, but the rest of them are separated in color family. And I actually have four more um, at the bottom. I think it'll hold, if you're doing just sketch, I'm not sure how many it will hold, but it's holding, it's doing really well in my mix of sketch and chow. So, and I, um, hopefully next month I'll be able to finish my collection. That's kind of the goal. And then once that's done, I'm going to have to slowly but surely start buying um, refills. <laughs> so. Slowly but surely. So this may look a little different. She's starting out a little bit darker than the other one did. But I think it'll be okay. The other one is also dry. And this one, of course, the ink is still wet. So if you are interested in alcohol markers and you're not ready to invest in Copics. Um, almost everybody has alcohol markers these days. Um, I started with Spectrum Noir and I got those because I could use a coupon at Joann's and sometimes they put them on sale. I don't know now if they do. Um, I haven't shopped there in a hot minute. I was trying to shop online with them, but they, they're slow. They're, they ship so slow. It's so slow. Okay, I'm gonna blush your cheeks and we're gonna call it good. So anyway, um, but I know Altenew has them. I think Nuvo has them. Oh, who else? Maybe that's it. But like I said, Spectrum War has them. There's Ohana. If you search like, um, not even card makers, but if you just search for um, alcohol markers and you find some artists, you'll probably find what you're looking for. All right, so there she is. Didn't she turn out so stinking cute? It's a little, she looks a little better on the other one, but of course I, that one's dry and this one's not. So, all right, <laughs> back to the card. Paper, I'm using two different ones. Oh, let me zoom out a little bit. Oh, that was real close. <laughs> I'm using the 6x6 Sum Sum Summertime by Katherine Pooler. Like, I love this color scheme. It's so pretty. And I love, I mean, I love pastels. I love brights. I just love color. And then I'm pairing that. I took this one pattern from the Simple Stories Magical Birthday. It really pairs very well with this paper, I like to think. And I wanted something to pop her off of. So we're going to get started. So this is a piece of Melon Mambo. Like I mentioned, I'm still working through my Stampin' Up! paper. And I may continue buying them. I don't know. I get my um, My Favorite Things kit tomorrow. My mystery kit from them. And it's a, they included 29. Well, I think it ended up being 28 because there was a mishap. But 29 sheets of cardstock and I am so stinking excited because I've I've wanted to they're on my list to try them um, I know Concord I think it's Concord and Knife and just released um, their range of cardstock and stuff I want to try Lawn Fawn because that guava color I just I really wanted to try <laughs> I really want to try it so we'll see okay so we're gonna start now, the thing about the Catherine Pooler paper, this is almost like lightweight cardstock. Like, you could, it's thick, which is really, really good.
Oh well, we're in it to win it. <laughs> we're in it to win it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna pop her up. I know that technically brings her outside of the picture, but it's a robot, okay? It'll be all right. Just trust the process. If you didn't know and you're watching me and you're like, what? What is going on? I left Stampin' Up! And that's a video that you can find on my channel. I will have it linked down, down below. No, not down below. At the end. The end of this video. Um, along with the haul where I picked up this stamp set. And like I said, this is from Sugar Pea Designs and I got it on Simon Says Stamp. But I'm sure you could probably go buy it from their website. I mentioned that in my first haul after leaving the Stampin' Up! Um, because of what's going on, I have been going to actual websites like the stamp sets. What Like I just bought another load of <laughs> Hello Bluebird stamps, and I, I've been buying them from their um, their own website as they're in stock. Not that I don't want to support Simon Says Stamp, but um, I also want to support little, you know, smaller companies that I want them to make, you know, a full profit rather than just wholesale. So... Don't you worry, Simon's a stamp got a ton of my money. <laughs> I probably won't have another haul until I get my YouTube check next month, which is fine because I have, we have a lot to work with. You guys will have to let me know what you're most interested. I was going to do the hippos on holiday today. I wanted, I want to do a one stamp three ways with that. The issue is this camera. If I get this camera. Okay, we're gonna put some shimmer. Shimmer, it needs shimmer. And maybe enamel dots. No, I think the background is enough. This is the Wink of Stout, no it's not. This is the Spectrum Raw pen and I love it. Ooh, you know what would be cute? Maybe some glossy accents. Oh, that thought. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna glitter all of her. I mean, she dang cute. She dang cute, y'all. So if you're unfamiliar, glossy accents are just a type of adhesive. Where are mine? They're there. And once it dries, it looks glossy. So this is the card. Didn't that turn out cute? Isn't this paper just so cute? Like I said, this is the, oh, it's not even. Way to go, Misty. <laughs> I'm not fixing it. This is the um, Simple Stories Magical and then the Catherine Pooler Some Some Summertime. And so, yeah. So this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna go ahead and add the glossy accents. Why did I shake that? That was a bad idea. Oy vey. It's gonna take me a while to get back in the habit of filming, but I am so stinking ready, you guys. I'm so, so ready. I'm so ready to put this craft room back in order. I'm gonna need them to ship my desk. I need, um, what's that? A glaze. The glaze pens? Is that what they're called? Ew. There we go. So you can see that dimension, right? All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I really, really appreciate it. Again, thank you so very much for all of your support, your comments, your tweets, or 
your Instagram messages, your Facebook messages, your emails. Um, I read every single comment that had been left and I didn't answer any of them. Um, I just, I just didn't have, like I was exhausted. This whole thing has just exhausted me. So I'm glad to be done of it. And like I mentioned, please don't leave any more comments regarding it. I'd like to move on. Um, and we want to get on to happier, cuter, craftier things. So thank you so much for watching. Like I said, um, the last two videos will be linked at the end of this end slate. And I will see you probably tomorrow, maybe Monday. Bye for now. <music>